Hi everyone, this is just my brief feedback on the uh, ELV SS12 project and uh, overall I was really quite excited to see what uh, the students have done with, uh, with the videos which is great, um, particularly seeing as it's a real new collaborative type of project. Um, I guess I'd agree with what the, the other lecturers have said that uh, in a lot of ways I don't think the, uh, the videos really leverage the unique affordances of of the mobile technology as such in a, in a large way. Um, in a number of ways, I guess one for um, seeing what you could do uniquely recording with the, with the mobile device um, and what's unique about it as a delivery mechanism as well, as a delivery format. Um, so I think within using, looking at mobile uh, movies and mobile devices, it gives you an opportunity to look at different types of interaction and different type of interactive experience. Uh, looking at things like including the um, ability of these devices to, do, to scan QR codes, for instance, or use the built-in GPS for geotagging and geolocating, um, perhaps different clips, um, even involving maybe augmented reality somehow, or touchscreen interaction for moving ahead or, or choosing a, a, a perhaps an alternative chapter, um, accelerometers, etc. Um, the other area that I think that, that could be worked on too is actually using the mobile devices is communication and collaboration tools within the project. So um, obviously using Twitter as a way of communicating a syn and an asynchronous technology to communicate across the time zones and across the geography bar barriers that we have in the project uh, and the fact that you, you're using mobile devices which are capable of um, using Twitter. Uh, and Google Plus, Google Plus Hangouts, the G Plus app on Android and iPhone is really good. So perhaps looking at um, how you can leverage that within the projects for collaboration as well. Uh, and blog editing apps. So uh, there's a you know free WordPress app for uh, iPhone and, and Android, so you can actually be editing your team progress on your mobile device as part of the project as well. So I think just thinking through the integration of the technology rather than uh, just as, as it being you know something that you use in a normal way and, and it becomes you know the, the end product um, but using it within the whole process of the, the project as well. So for me I think the greatest potential of the Elvis project really is about uh, an international collaboration and uh, getting an authentic experience of that and hopefully even building up an international network that you could continue to, to be part of and, and, and to grow. Um, and that for me has been, I think, the most exciting part from my point of view of the involvement is that being part of an international team of lecturers uh, and, and creating this international global community of practice. Um, and for me it became really quite exciting when students started to become involved in that. And, and so some of the student reps being involved in our Google Plus Hangouts um, getting to actually know the, the other participants personally and getting them involved in that process, that, that co-creation, that collaboration, that whole behind the scenes type thing. And hopefully you've had some sort of experience of that yourselves within your teams. Um, but for me I think that's the most powerful aspect of this whole project. So I hope that uh, that, that, that was really useful for you uh, and something that you can go on to explore in other projects in the future. Um, I also think that uh, each group of students, each team of students, should probably focus on what they're really good at. So, for instance, the uh, Unitech students should probably have really focused on filming and editing of the mobile videos. The uh, Selfridge students probably should really have focused on the audio tracks and the Foley, because um, that's the, what they're really good at. They're audio engineering students, so they've got the skills. And uh, the uh, French students focusing on the graphics and animation, which they actually did. And so by getting the members of the team to focus on their unique skills within that, you actually end up with a, with a real project rather than uh, everyone trying to create little video snippets and uh, you know perhaps using tools they're not really used to or not that uh, experienced at. So I think within your team is really trying to focus on the, the, the core schools of the people within your team and allocating those appropriately is, is the way to go. Um, I think um, 
Optimizing the collaborative tools is really important too and um, getting out of comfort zones. So I guess an example of that for me is perhaps getting beyond Facebook for trying to communicate uh, and leveraging things like Twitter and Google Plus Hangouts and your team blogs, um, which end up hopefully becoming uh, a really powerful portfolio of what you're capable of of a, a, a record of the experience that you can then broker to potential employers um, or that you can continue to build on as a team. If you, you know you think you're actually working well together as a team, you can continue to build on those experiences and those tools. Whereas I'm not sure that Facebook is a particularly useful tool to uh, to do that. That's, that's of course just my own opinion, but uh, I think when you're, when you're doing a project like this, the, you, the real learning comes when you put yourself beyond your comfort zone rather than just staying with tools that you're comfortable with. Um, so I think for me, yeah, it's, it's been a great experience uh, working with um, Helen and Salford and Dan here at, uh, in Auckland and Unitech and Laurent and, and uh, Celine in France. Uh, and, and with getting to know some of the students around the world as well. So it's been a fantastic experience, a fantastic uh, project. I hope you've really enjoyed it, and I hope that we can all learn from this and make the next one even better. Thanks. See ya.